Uh, before we get uh, going here, got a, a few administrative things I want to take care of. I'd like to uh, introduce the members of the Polka Music, um, the, excuse me, the Michigan State Polka Music Hall of Fame. Uh, my name is Joe Toma. I'm, uh, it's my pleasure to uh, be the president of the Hall of Fame. We have Mr. Eddie Shevitz uh, serving as vice president. We have my lovely bride of 44 years, uh, Jill Toma, as uh, secretary and treasurer. We got Ken Dowling, who's not with us today. He's down in, where is he? Ten is it Tennessee? Tennessee? He's in Tennessee doing a, yeah, playing a job down there. Life of a musician, right? Uh, and then we also have longtime standing member, Joanne Smolka, trustee. Thank you. Ken. I'd like, uh, again, to thank the Z Hall and their staff for allowing us to have our induction ceremony here today. Uh, thank you to Dr. David and uh, his daughter Cora who had to step out. She's got a newborn, so uh, that's taking up a lot of her time. Um, I'd like to thank all of you in attendance today. Uh, all the proceeds from today, the, the dinner as well as the, uh, the check uh, pastries go to uh, induction of funds into next year's ceremony. Uh, also like to thank our sponsors. Had a couple of sponsors this year. Uh, first one, the Slovene American Club uh, sponsoring us and also the International Polka Association. So we'd like to thank them for their support and uh, please consider doing business with them when you can. Um, special thanks to uh, Bonnie Miller again, uh, excuse me, Bonnie Weber, or Bonnie, <laughs> Bonnie, Weber. Bonnie Miller for bumper music. Thank you, Bonnie. Hall of, Hall of Famer, yeah. And also Dave Slavinsky, Hall of Famer, for uh, the uh, serenading us uh, during our lunch. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to thank Jill Toma for the Czech pastries. They went pretty fast this year, so maybe you'll, you'll feel like doing them again next year. <laughs> Got some volunteers today. I'd like to thank uh, Chet and uh, Marianne Zupko for helping out at the door. Thank you very much, you guys. We got uh, some of my family members, my son Joe and my son Jameson, and also my grandson Joe and my granddaughter Juliana. So thank you guys for coming out. I'd like to thank the office of uh, Representative Brian Begole for, uh, for uh, making a, the Congressional Tribute Awards available. Uh, they'll be awarded uh, as part of the presentation today. Uh, and a special shout out to one of his aides, uh, Adam Lawrence, who uh, got them prepared for this. And then last, uh, we've got Michigan State Polka Music Hall of Fame members here, uh, gonna be entertaining us from four o'clock to seven, including David Zavinsky, our good buddy, Gary Mueller, and of course, the superstar from Bay City, Stevie Davisky. So. Okay. Um, Continuing along, I'd like the, the new members, uh, if you'd please stand when I announce your name so people can recognize you. First of all, Mr. Edward Jemanski from Grand Rapids. We got John Jack Pocholski of Ada. Thank you. And Stan Barilla of Auburn. Thank you. Thank you. Our last inductee today, Mr. Stan Barilla. Please join us, Stan. We're waiting for your bio reader. Oh, that would be me. <laughs> he's working on it. He's, he's here. Uh, thank you. Welcome, Stan. Thank you. I'll need my uh, glasses to do this. It happens when we get older. Yes, yes. <laughs> right behind you, Stan. Stanley John Barilla. That's me. That's, that's him. Was born May 20, 1939, to proud parents in Ecorse, Michigan, Detroit downriver suburb. Stan's father, Piotr, right? Piotr? Piotr. Piotr, Piotr which Peter. is Peter in Polish came right from Poland and his mother Anna from the Ukraine. Stan is one of seven children. Stan has two children from a previous marriage. Stan Jr. residing in Southern California and Cheryl resides in Seattle. 
uh, including a granddaughter, Isabel. The family's hometown, though, is Wyandotte, Michigan, downriver. And that became the launching pad in the early 1960s for his endeavors, before moving to Midland, Michigan in 1977. There, he and his unique customized design shop under the name of Applied Graphics between Auburn and Midland, Michigan. Later in life, he had met up with a wonderful lady, and that's Fran Frizel. Did I say that right? Yes. Fran. Everybody knows Stan and Fran. And uh, he's been by, she's been by his side for so many years, both in life and in business. Stan's passion for graphic design and fabrication in his early years, plus his love for polka music, set the state for a long, lifelong commitment promoting the culture and the music and making it look good. While performing uh, any kind of polka music was not Stan's forte, promoting it and making it look good was. While Stan was filling his tour of duty in the United States Navy, he was able to pick up a few years of design work experience. This experience led Stan to notice that the general public did not appear to be seeing polka entertainers in the same as the other mainstream musicians and genre of music. So this experience uh, from those days of doing his own polka music radio program at WILN-FM in Detroit, Michigan. And Stan, I, I was amazed to hear that you were on the radio. For some reason, I don't remember hearing you on the radio. What years was that? It was in uh, the late 60s, early okay. 70s. Yeah, I was just a young tyke. You remember, I didn't know any better. You but remember a guy named Eugene Constantinovich? I remember Eugene Constantinovich. This was after him. After him, okay. <laughs> So here's a polka DJ and a promoter. And uh, so he was going to polka dances and festivals and the vision of elevating the marketing options of bands seemed like the logical thing to do. Stan started promoting polka events in the 60s when he uh, hired a young chap by the name of Tommy Reeder and the polka towners from Bay City. Well-known polka hall of famer here in Michigan. Uh, and that was at the Dumpolsky Hall in uh, Wyandotte. From then on, things escalated by many more events. In 1970, a polka music group, the Brass Connection, TBC, led by Rich Benkowski of Ohio, gave Stan an opportunity to design their next album and logo. The higher end image of this project caught the eyes of many other artists. Applied Graphics also did much of their work under the older business name called Uniscreen before totally switching to Applied Graphics. Their new slogan for the polka music field was, we make polka look good for those who make it sound good. Wasn't long and Stan was working with headliners like The Sounds, Eddie Blazanchik's Versatones, The Ampolaires, The Dynatones, The New Brass, Mark Jansen's Brass Express, and many others. He penned the phrase, the golden voice of polkas for the late Marion Lush in the 60s, still known today as the golden voice of polkas. Well done, Stan. <laughs> then a number of major festivals recognized the need for better branding and decided to contact Stan, including the Summer Music Fest in Frankenmuth. Judy Stringhill's Polka Weekend at Ogle Bay Resort in Wheeling, West Virginia. The Grand Hotel with Harold Midas on Mackinac Island. Houghton Lake Polka Fest run by the Romanowski family and many, many more festivals. In 2002, the creme de la creme of polka music, a project began with The Sounds, the band with the heart. Stan brought this on board to manage the project and the Sounds Alive Again tour of 2003. Even though Stan was a master of creativity, he resourced many skilled people to pull off everything it took to make the Nine Stop Reunion Tour a huge success. Along with decades of radio shows, design work on albums, CDs, cassettes, band signs, logos, a ton of special products and signage, 
for many festivals and dances around the country. Stan was also putting on polka dances and bus trips to promote polka music to the general public. And just as an aside, here's a memory I have that I'll never forget. In the 90s, I was performing with a band called Prime Drive. And much to my surprise, we were playing in Wheeling, West Virginia at the Ogle Bay Resort, Judy Stringhill's event, and we're up on stage playing, and in comes marching a busload of people from Michigan, which Stan brought to the festival, and all these people were dressed like we were dressed in the band, <laughs> if you can believe it. We had sort of gangster-looking outfits on, black shirts, white ties, white suspenders, white hats, and all the people dressed as we were. And they came right up in front of the band. I'll never forget that. That was a crowning moment. Thank you, Stan, for that. You're welcome. Yeah. Stan the man with the polka vision was also the brainchild behind the complete design work for the Min Michigan premier polka music show, Kelly Grahowski Polka Hall of Famer sitting right over there. His radio show, Stan did a lot of promotion for that. It's called the Polka Band Stan USA on 103. 0.1 FM WGDN in Gladwin, Michigan, and the first to stream the show on the internet. WGDN Radio's new design work was also designed by Stan Barilla. And all this new wave imagery seemed to help the polka industry even make its place to the Grammy Awards. The stories of success for regular business and polka music are endless for Stan Barilla, who was also a voting member of the Grammy Awards. He has recently done a total promotion for Linda Lee, for her, honoring her for her 50 years in polka music. Is she here? Oh, Linda, so glad to have you here, Linda. Congratulations to you. Graphic design and artwork by Frank DeMarco of Flushing, Michigan. He was also involved in that, right? Yes, In the was. 50 years. Mm -hmm. Stan Barilla greatly appreciates and thanks everyone for your lifelong support. Many of his works are on display here, ladies and gentlemen. It's so nice of you to bring some of that. In that corner back there, when you have a moment, please go over there and check out just a small sample of his great body of work that he's done throughout the many years. So feel free to browse there at the table, and uh, congratulations, Stan. Thank you, it's a, it's a pleasure to know you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Stick with us just for a second, Stan. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we need it. We're formal, but not that formal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Stan, member of Michigan State Polka Music Hall of Fame for the outstanding contributions in the field of polka music, this highest honor is, be, uh, is decreed upon Stan John Barilla. Congratulations, Stan. Thank you, Joel. Appreciate it. I'll hang on to these for you because your hands are going to get full. I know that. <laughs> I can see that. And also special tribute by the state of Michigan to Stanley Barilla. Let it be known that is with deep appreciation for the dedication that this accomplishment represents that we congratulate Stan Barilla of Midland upon the occasion of his induction to the Michigan Polka Music Hall of Fame. This achievement signifies commitment to the polka community that so many people of this state have grown to cherish. Stan's creativity extended beyond design. He organized polka dances, bus trips, and radio shows, fostering a vibrant community around polka music. He was the mastermind behind Kelly Grahowski's Polka Bandstand USA on WGDN, pioneering the show's streaming online. His relentless passion and dedication have transformed the polka music landscape, ensuring that its legacy endures for future generations. In special tribute, therefore, this document is signed and dedicated to congratulate Stanley Barilla as he becomes an official member of the Michigan Polka Music Hall of Fame. We congratulate him on his excellent efforts in all aspects of life. Brian Bagol, State Representative of Michigan. Congratulations, Stan. Thank you. Let's get another photo. 
Can you hold both? Or uh, Joe, why don't you hold this and we'll get. I got it. And I want to get in on this one. Yeah. That's going to be on the other side of there, Stan. Thank you. Oh, good. Let's have Stan say a few words. Yeah, that I got for you if you want to say oh, a few thank words. You. Yep, thank you. Take it away, Stan. Thank you. Well, I <coughs> hope that wasn't too much for you to absorb. Uh, unlike the rest of the people here that were uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, I'm sorry to say that I'm not a musician, even though I had uh, uh, done a little bit of work in, uh, in grade school and high school with uh, the French horn, the viola, and finally ended up with a clarinet. But my experience with the clarinet is totally unmatched with uh, with with uh, Eddie Shevitz because <laughs> the the best I ever made in band in school was as played third chair clarinet, and uh, that's not really moving up the ladder very very far. <laughs> and of course, in school I, I went to, which was Lincoln Park High School, a suburb of Detroit, um, that uh, that school did not. Uh, was, uh, Folk music was not their forte, let's put it that way. Um, one thing I'd like to mention here to just take a second, if you don't mind, it's getting awfully lonely up here without some support. I could use some support from the family <laughs> to, encourage, uh, to encourage my right hand, if you would. Fran. Fran. She's a... She told me when I asked her if she was going to come up with me, she says, no, this is your time to shine. That's the first time you ever said anything like that to me. <laughs> now, little, little uh, side note, uh, people, uh, when we go to meet other people and get introduced, uh, we, of course, are introduced as Stan and Fran, and most people kind of nod their heads to the side, and they say, well, that kind of rhymes, you know, but what they don't really know the whole story, because... Uh, <clears throat> The both of us have a little dog, and the dog's name is Cisco. Well, what does that make us? San Francisco. <laughs> okay, let's let's. Uh, I'll try and be as brief as possible, but uh, my history is pretty intense, so I'm not going to bore you with the details. Um, even Fran doesn't know what I'm about to say. Uh, this all started in uh, in the fall of uh, 1938, and she I know what she's thinking. Well, what the hell's with you? You know, you know you weren't born until 39. <laughs> well, my dad Peter and and my mother Anna uh, decided to to have a little fun one night back in the fall of 38, and uh, about four months later, uh, mom says to pop, she says. Uh, you remember that good time we had back in uh, about three months ago, four months ago? And he says, yeah. She says, uh, well, I'm afraid uh, we got some a new guest coming to the house. <laughs> he says, what are we going to do now? He says, she says, uh, well, we're just going to make the best of it. And this is all I got to offer. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, it was uh, everything else is pretty much history. Um, when I was growing up uh, and I graduated from high school, um, I decided to get into polka music like they said earlier, and I don't want to get into details because you've already been, been in that area. But um, I decided I'm going to try promoting polkas for a change. So I happened to uh, meet up with a guy after going to a few dances, uh, met up with a guy named Tommy Reeder, and Tommy Reeder was the first band that I hired down in Wyandotte, Michigan at the Dompolsky Hall. And, and uh, even though the dance was not super successful, it was a start. After that, it kind of uh, snowballed and mushroomed into, into a number of different things. And I did a lot of different kinds of promoting and polka music uh, throughout the state of Michigan. Um, once, once I got it going, then uh, I, uh, I got called in by Uncle Sam uh, I volunteered for the Navy. I was uh, in, in a branch of the Navy called the Naval Air, and uh, I was in reconnaissance and pho photographics division. 
And um, that turned out to be a, a, a very worthwhile experience because I love serving my country. <clears throat> Afterwards, um, I decided when I came back I was going to get into radio and I had a radio program on uh, WLIN in Detroit. That, that was, uh, uh, it was on actually seven days a week, uh, but uh, the weekend program was, was my forte, so to speak. But, and, and it turned out to be a successful thing because we had, um, we'd been on the radio maybe two or three years. And at that time, <clears throat> the radio station decided they were gonna move into a different territory up in, uh, up in the UP. So we had to go searching for other radio stations. And of course, when you have a specialty program like polka music, it's not all that easy to get into all these kind of things. So one thing led to another. And then uh, when uh, eventually I moved up into the uh, mid-northern area of uh, Midland, when I got up in the Midland area, uh, I had a graphics business that, that had already been established many years before. By the way, I've been in business for over 60 years. So um, when I moved into uh, the area in, in, uh, in Midland, um, I, of course, traveled all over the country, and I met with a lot of the best bands in the, in the business. And uh, one day I saw an opportunity to uh, offer my services to one of the better bands in the business called um, TBC, that's the Brass Connection. And, <clears throat> and if you get a chance to take a look over there, you'll see uh, one of the, the design that we actually did, the branding we did for the, the Brass Connection. And it went over like gangbusters. After that, <clears throat> again, everything was history because there was a number of bands we did. We did uh, uh, branding for several, and I, don't, I quit counting a long time ago, but it's been a number. And we seemed to establish uh, a name for ourselves, so we did what we could, and that's when we established the slogan, we make polka look good for those who make it sound good. Um, in addition to that, uh, uh, there's there's too many things that we can talk about and we don't want to keep you here and bore you all afternoon because I'm sure all of you want to get up here and start dancing or do whatever. <laughs> um, I do have, I, I want to thank several people here that are here today and that's one of them is Fran's family. <clears throat> Without Fran's family, um, I don't think I could have accomplished near as much as I have accomplished because they've been super supportive for me. And I want to thank you very much. I want to thank you for coming. I also want to thank you for many friends that came. And I also have uh, two nephews and a great nephew, no, a nephew, a great nephew, and a cousin. And the one with the, in the beard, well, he's trying to look like me, but he'll never make it. <laughs> he's, not, he's not quite fat enough. <laughs> but I really, I really appreciate you boys coming because you came a long way for this trip, and, and it was a very fun thing. I do have some uh, a couple of kids that live out west, and obviously it's, it's it was quite a trip for them to come out here. So I told them maybe in the next one. You never know. Um, there's a, a couple of other things I need to cover, and then we'll we'll get on with the program. Um, last weekend was a uh, another highlight in in my life. Um, most of you probably are familiar with uh, <clears throat> excuse me with Eddie Blazinczyk who had passed away, uh, how many years ago do you know? Several. Several years ago, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Bozonchik family held a dance with Larry Trojak, who was, who was doing a, uh, uh, he, he had formed a new band that, that is supposed to be a takeoff on Little Wally, who's also a very former famous uh, band that most of you are very familiar with. And, uh, they invited us to the facility in Chicago. When we got to Chicago, th they gave us a standing ovation, warm welcome. And um, so I want to thank the Blazunczyk family for, for all, of, all of their efforts and, and their, uh, and their uh, appreciation, so on and so forth. So, uh, and by the way, I, uh, I failed to send her a card, but uh, Tish Blazunczyk, who's Eddie's, Eddie's wife, um, she celebrated her birthday last week, so happy birthday to you, Tish. <laughs> and uh, before it? before I get to what? Is that it? <laughs> she wants to know if that's it, so I guess it's time to sit down. 
Thank you very much, everybody, for participating. It was, it was a real joy. I appreciate it. Thank you, Stan. Yeah, while Stan's walking back, I just want to, as a band member, and I think that all band guys can attest to this, you're trying... Thank you, yeah, I was just uh, saying, uh, as a band member, and I think all the other band members here can attest to this, is, you know, trying to hold a group of five or six guys together, learning music, and trying to get dances, it's great to have a promoter like Stan out there pushing bands, so that really helps out a lot. Um, before I forget, we got a couple more formal things. I uh, would like all the new inductees to come up in a moment, and we're gonna get a picture of the group. And then uh, I'd also like, before we do that, uh, I know we've got, Polk of Hall of Fame members here. If, uh, if you're a current member, would you please stand up and be recognized? I know Kelly's here, Stevie. We've got Dave Slavinsky's here. Where's Gary Mueller? Big surprise, Gary leaning on the bar over there. So, so thank you. All right, so we're gonna have uh, the members come up, the new inductees come up. We'll get a photo of them. And then if we can have all of the uh, current members uh, up for a photo as well. And then we'll take a break and you guys can get uh, individual photos, group photos, autographs, that sort of thing. And we're gonna start a dance at four o'clock, the Michigan State Polka Hall of Fame All-Stars. Uh, there'll be a 50-50 drawing, so, and don't forget we got refreshments at the four. Z Hall Bar. Okay? Three o'clock. No, we're gonna start at four. Three. It's 10 to three. No, we're gonna start the music at four. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Everybody good? All right. If we can have the new, the new inductees to the center, please. I'm out of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's more a little more appealing. You guys want a little bit more? Yeah, careful with it. Okay, I'm gonna get this to your table here. Take that to your table.
Archers. Doug and Kelly, come on out. Gary, Dave.